Track 21. Teen Travel Tips. Moscow. Monique. Moscow is great for sightseeing. I took photos everywhere I went. The only problem was that I don't speak Russian, so it was hard to get a taxi and I hate walking. My advice is to take some Russian lessons before you go. I went to the aquarium on my first day. I enjoyed it, but there were a lot of tourists. I preferred the quieter streets with little shops selling postcards and presents. After I got gifts for my friends, I didn't have much money left. Carla The underground, or metro, is a great way to travel around, but too crowded for me. My favourite place was Red Square. The buildings are amazing. But don't spend all your time taking photos. I didn't. I bought postcards from the little shops. You don't need Russian. Everyone speaks English. Oh, and I loved the street food and ate lots of it, but it wasn't cheap. The aquarium is fantastic. If you only go to one place, go there. Olivia My favourite place was Old Arbat, one of the oldest streets in Moscow. I wanted to get presents for my mum and dad, but all the shops had the same presents, so I didn't buy much. I mostly ate street food because it didn't cost much and it was delicious. I went to the metro to look at the amazing stations, but I didn't travel on it. I went everywhere on foot. You see so much that way. Track 22. A. Guest. Tourist. Visitor. B. Map. C. Receptionist. D. Luggage. Suitcase. E. Guidebook. Track 23. Hello. We arrived this morning. I'm a guest here with my mum and dad and my sister. Oh yes, I remember. John, isn't it? How can I help you? It's our first time here in Moscow and we want to do some sightseeing this afternoon. Can you give me some information about things to see, please? Yes, certainly. I can give you a small street map. Um, ah. Here it is. Uh, we're here. Mm -hmm. And the tourist information center is here. It's not very far. You can easily get there on foot. That's perfect. Thank you. Do you have a guidebook? My mum and dad like having a guidebook. My sister and I think guidebooks are boring. We think it's much more fun to use the internet to read about things to do in a city. Yes, we have some guidebooks here. You have to pay for them, though. OK, I'll tell Mum and Dad. Oh, and do you have a metro map? Yes, look, it's on the other side of the street map. Mm. The best way to get around Moscow is by metro or by bus. You can get day tickets for both. What about taxis? Aren't they quicker? Taxis are OK, but they can be expensive and quite slow. There's always a lot of traffic, so they often take a long time. Thank you. That's really useful information for Mum and Dad. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. Oh, excuse me? You left your suitcase. Pardon? Isn't that your suitcase there on the floor? No, that isn't mine. Mine's in our room. I saw a man here at the desk before me. 
He had lots of luggage. Perhaps it belongs to him. He went up in the lift. Ah, yes. I remember. I'll call his room. Thank you. Track 24 Can you give me some information about the Space Museum, please? Yes, certainly. The museum's near the center, and you can book online. You'll really enjoy it. That's perfect. Thanks. It's the best way to learn about the history of our country. That's a really good idea. Oh, by the way, have you got any information about the Kremlin? Yes, of course. It's all on our website. Have a good day.